We're going to be practicing some of the basic value scales working with um, using scratch art and uh, the different sides of the tool here. Um, for the tool, it is something different to get used to with the scratch art technique. So first on your um, half sheet of paper, I would like you to practice trying out and experimenting a little bit with it. So just seeing how it works before you jump into these value scales to practice. Um, the one side that doesn't have the cap and looks more like a pen, so this side that's on the screen now, um, doesn't really do much when you go to etch. So this is going to be more for just your basic outlines of things. So you're going to be sketching things out with this side first and then using the other side to do the scratch art technique with. Um, so this side doesn't actually do much, but it does give you just a faint line where you're able to see your outline. But I'm going to play this time lapse of the different things that I would like you to practice. Um, like I said, just play around with it at first using this pointy side just to see how it feels. So I'm just doing a few lines here to kind of get the feel for things. But when you're ready, I would like you to do a large section of hatching. So I'm just doing a wide rectangle here going from light to dark. So remember with hatching, you want to be, just be drawing lines. So I'm just shading straight up and down. Um, that's really the best thing to do with this tool is just kind of shade as you're drawing. So you don't really have to press hard at all, so really lightly shading. Um, and I'm just shading back and forth, up and down, making it darker from the left and lighter on the right, um, or flip-flopped. But on the left side where I'm making it a lot lighter, I'm going over those lines a couple of times and then starting to spread those lines out further as I get closer to the right side. Um, and then the second box that I would like you to do is practice cross-hatching. Um, so you may or may not use these techniques as you're shading things in. It is tricky to do complete blending, um, like a lot of you did for the last project or the charcoal project. Um, so this is something different where you're probably going to be showing a little bit more texture. So hatching and cross-hatching is great for this. Um, remember with cross-hatching, your lines are just going across the opposite direction. So I'm making them um, vertical first, just like a normal hatching, and then I'm going sideways from the left and um, changing my direction from the bottom, going sideways to the right as well. Um, so that way you can see the area that's completely white, an area that's almost completely black, and then all of those medium tones in between. Um, when you're looking at both of these rectangles, there's nowhere where you can completely see the value change stop and start. So it should be a smooth transition the entire way from light to dark. And then here is the last technique that I would like you to practice in one of these larger rectangles, which is just kind of scribbling um, or using circles. So this creates a different type of texture. Um, and you might use a combination of textures on your final one or even your next practice. But I want you to try using those smaller circles that get larger in the darker area just to try out and see what these different textures look like. Um, so this could be used for an area where you're maybe shading in a cloud um, or the texture of someone's hair. So it's going to be a little bit different depending on what you're actually drawing for your final project. Uh, this next section, I would like you to do a smaller rectangle. Um, because it is something that takes a little bit more time. But in this smaller rectangle, I want you to do smaller lines versus lines that go all the way up and down. Um, so this, again, is just a different type of texture that could be used for um, maybe fur on an animal um, or something similar to that. So try out those different textures going from light to dark. And then this one, you don't necessarily have to go from light to dark, but in a smaller box, I want you to try some stippling, which is just where you're doing small dots close together, um, just to, again, see some different lines and texture that you could use. And then the last thing that I want you to try is adding color, which is optional for your final project, but I want you to just experiment a little bit with it. Um, and this is mainly for those of you in person. If you're at home, you don't have oil pastels, so might not be able to do this. If you have crayon, you can try it. But I'm just shading on top of um, this previous section with the oil pastel. And then I'm etching back on top of it just to get those lighter sections back out again.